Hello everyone, it's Melissa and welcome back to my channel. Are you ready to make an adorable and sweet necklace? I will be using beads left over from a couple of the last Softflex Company Design Kit, Sunset Splendor, and the Great Bead Extravaganza Just Peachy Kit. And I'm using antique brass I, and I'm using a metallic color. You could also use like a pink tourmaline or a quartz um, or even just their silver. I'm using size 11 seed beads and these are listed on softflexcompany.com and any of the items still available there will be a link down below in the description. I am using this butterfly coin it's a laser etched. Um, one of the little simple cuts from the Sunset Splendor kit, an Austrian crystal um, from a free gift from a live sale. And before we start creating don't forget to hit that subscribe button it helps my little channel grow. So I know briolettes sometimes can be a little bit of a challenge. Um, do you wire wrap them? What spacing for them? So I found using size 11 seed beads just really gives it an elegant look and can help you space your beads if you don't want to wire wrap them. Our little gem cut. I love these gem cuts from the Sunset Splendor kit. They just reminded me of strawberry quartz. We're going to use our one step looper to make a loop. You want to give it a little bit of wiggle room. If it's too tight to the tool, it can cause it to break. And we'll have our loop. And if you didn't have a one step looper, you could always use your round nose pliers as well, which we are going to do now just to make sure the loop is completely closed. We won't want to lose our dangle for our project. And now we're going to attach a jump ring to it. So we're just going to open up the jump ring, just a gentle twist, and slide on our dangle. About 12 inches of the soft flex wire. Now a couple design options. Um, before you cut your soft flex wire, if you want, you can always have the soft flex wire show in the back. Um, so you'll need about 18 or 20 inches of soft flex wire, or you can attach it to a chain, a piece of leather. I'm going to be attaching mine to some chain. That's why I'm only going to need a little bit of the soft flex wire. So we're just going to string on the beads in the pattern that we have created. And for now, I'm just going to use one size 11 seed bead as a spacer. And what's nice about the soft flex is it acts as a needle. So you can just pick up those little small beads without having to use your fingers. We're going to slide on the briolette, a seed bead, and a little bead. So you can see the spacing for briolette. And the briolette is like a very light or a dusty pink with like a little gold shimmer. And this was exclusive in the Jesse James bead mix for Sunset Splendor. I feel like doing the lighter pinks um, kind of looks like a sunrise splendor. So we're just going to keep adding on our beads until we get to this centerpiece. So we're at the middle of our necklace and you can just see with the little seed beads how it's creating the spacing and then how that metallic soft flex wire is kind of shimmering and showing through the briolettes. So now we're going to pick up our peach bead that was from the bead mix for just peachy. And this has a fairly large hole so we're going to double back and do like a little loop to hang our component that we first made. So we're going to pick up seven size 11 seed beads and it's up to you how big you would like your loop um, since i have kind of a large dangle for this necklace i'm just going to make it a little dainty loop we have we have our seven beads we're going to slide on our six millimeter jump ring and it should just slide right over those seed beads we're going to take our soft flex wire and pass back through the peach bead this is about like a six millimeter bead and then we're just going to give it a little pull and it's going to create that little dangle for you. Like a little crown. And then we'll just keep stringing on our beads. 
And don't worry if they start to kind of twist and turn, it'll straighten out when the necklace is completed. So we'll just add on the rest of those. So we have our beautiful, sweet, and dainty necklace. Now we're just gonna two by twos. We're just gonna need our pliers. So slide on one two by two. And then I'm just gonna make a loop. You can attach your chain directly to or um, attach it to a jump ring. Completely up to you. To make our little adjustments and then we have our loop we're just going to take our pliers and give it a squeeze and rotate our pliers and this will just give it a more professional finish it kind of turns your little smash two by two um, into like a little bead so we have some extra soft flex wire we're going to save it for another project we're going to do the same thing on the other side a little beautiful briolette necklace and this is a great way to use just any leftover beads that you may have um, if you just want to make a very dainty and simple necklace. And now we're just going to attach our chain. And we're just going to attach our jump rings. And I'm mixing my metals just so you can see the connection point. So we're just going to open a jump ring with a gentle twist. Our open jump ring, we're just going to attach it directly to our loop of soft flex and give it a close. And you should hear a little click and you'll know it's secure. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Open. Attach our little link and then attach it directly to our soft flex and close. And we have our beautiful necklace using leftover Softlex Company Design Kit beads. This makes a great gift, great way to use all your extra beads, and it gives you the perfect spacing for your briolettes without having to wire wrap them. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It helps my little channel grow. And check out down below in the description for all the products I use in today's video, as well as the playlist for more necklace inspiration. Have an awesome day.